Now that I figured that out, that makes this a little bit of that a little bit more easy now. Slowly figuring this shit out as it's going. <sighs> I'm gonna hold up a second, let me check, make sure there's no story thing that I gotta do. Oh, I'm already hearing stuff, I don't like it. Every gate you open into darkness brings another chance. Oh shit! Um, fucking excuse me this time? Please? What? The hell? Oh my god. Yep, don't like the look of this. Pressing the wrong fucking button. You can do this. Go again, down. Okay, heavy attacks do a lot of damage. I keep pressing, because on most other games, evade is like the left, the right stick. So I keep press, trying to press the right stick to evade. I'm a big old dum dum. The journey to Helheim is never a straight one. Each must find their own path. Align yourself to its secrets, and you will find yours. There's the axe. I feel, I, I, there's a part of me that feels bad because I don't remember the name of all these runes. And that's a weird thing to say. That I feel bad because of that, but, um. Like, I wear one around my neck every day, so. There's one out here, but it doesn't look like there is. There's just that here. 
Let's listen to this real quick. However you come to the gold-covered bridge that leads to hell, you may find it guarded by a giantess. She will ask your name. She will ask your lineage. She will ask your business. The Northmen tell of the warrior woman Brynhild, who leapt into fire and rode to hell to join her slain love Sigurd, and is challenged by the giantess. Maybe that's locked. Okay. I wonder if oh I wonder if that's because I beat um the first god there or um the first uh the first one that allowed me to see tricks. Okay, so the Says two. I don't know if this is the right way or not, but I'm going. Not the way I should have went. At least not yet, anyway. So we'll probably have to go back that way. Oh, 
Oh, another rune stone. Hela possesses large dwelling places in Helheim. Tall are her walls, high are her gits. The name of her dish is hunger. Her knife is famine. On her threshold all will stumble. Her bed is called sick bed, and her bed hangings are called flames of a funeral pyre. They say she is easy to recognize, half black and half the color of flesh. And her face, menacing and grim. A lot of ways that she's, like, I've seen her depicted is like, um, almost like Two-Face. But one side of her face is like a rot, and the other side of her face is, uh, very human. Alright, here we go. Because this game is evil, it would not surprise me if I have to fight someone on this fucking bridge. The gate. Yep. It's opening. Meet Hella for the first time on the bridge. Oh God. Moment to do fucking what? I'm sorry. Do you see her? What are you doing? You're showing weakness. You're not a warrior. You're a disgrace. Get up. The gods will punish you for this. Oh, get up. Pick up the sword. Pick it up. Fight the darkness. Fight yes, it. We got this. Get up. Get up. Get up and fight. Oh my god. Stormy seas and lost souls. She's dreamt of this before. They say dreams are visions of our memories, thoughts, and fears, as seen by our inner eye. But what if each one of us is always dreaming, even when awake, and we only see what our inner eye creates for us? Whoa. Is this what hell is? world shaped by Senua's nightmares. Maybe that's why people feared seeing the world through her eyes. Because if you believe that Senua's reality is twisted, you must accept that yours might be too. You fail the gods. You're pathetic. Rotten. Cursed. What were you thinking? Did you really think you could win? How stupid can you be? Everyone hates her. She's a curse. Look at you. A warrior. Worthless. Weak. Pathetic. Go on. Feel sorry for yourself. Because there's no one left to do that for you. Take it. If you're too much of a coward to fight, then end the suffering. Broken and lost. Just like your soul. Come on. Oh shit. I was not expecting that. <laughs> 